Hello guys, what's up? My name is Taylor, aka 100 Black, also known as 100 Black and White, and welcome to episode 13 of my Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, I believe, I believed, I believe, I believed I beat Bryson, the 7 gym leader, and then we went through Dragon Spiral Tower and did that stuff. And then in this episode, I'm gonna go through this Relic Castle stuff with Team Plasma. I don't know if I can do anything else f um, for the episode before it gets a really long watch time. But um, it's been a long time since I've recorded anything, and that's because I had school. I'm out of school for the time being, so I'm super happy to be back recording videos. And because I haven't touched this game in a long time, oh wait, seat one. Sorry, I've been playing Pokemon Emerald at the off time, and then I need my start key. So uh, X. Okay, let's see what I have. Cause I haven't. I don't remember what's on my team. Okay, so I have Flash and Illuminion. Okay, I remember this. With Dragon Breath, Rain Dance, Blue Flare, and Surf. I have Orbos, Deceptile, which was a legendary. That was randomized that I caught Flash Cannon Discharge Leaf Blade and Lava Plume. And I have Helicopter to Jump Pluff with Flash Cannon Acrobatics Leech Seed and Mega Drain. And then I have Scythe with Blue Sphere, Quick Attack Swords, and then Bite. And then I have Binocular. I'm sh pretty sure Binocular isn't dead yet, but it's also my Fly Slave, so that's why I have it. So after I do this, I can go back to Isira City and continue from there. So 42. Yeah, 42, 42. Okay, so... Uh, I guess I'll keep flashing up on top. I can put the Lucky A back on, right? Uh, not that. Lucky A. Where is it? Okay, here it is. Okay, and then... So now we have to go through this Relic Castle stuff. Where we had to fight Team Plasma. Ryoku gets it told us that once again we should test how much power you have. We will see if you can defeat Team Plasma. See, this is why I don't like in black and white, like the the seven sages, they didn't have um they didn't have Pokemon to battle with, which is really it made it like I was like Oh my gosh, can't think right now. It, it made me wonder why they were even in the game to begin with. Like, it's very weird why the Seven Sages were even in the game. Because, like, all they did was, like, they were, like, in charge of something. And then... And then they were, like, the leaders of Team Plasma or something. Even though you never battled any of them. So I don't know, it always confused me why. Oh, sorry for that noise. So we have Mask Rain. Uh, just Blue Flare. I'm gonna try and quote unquote speed up to this. Tranquil. Surf. Oh my gosh, why why are trainers so annoying? Just get away. Surf. Double team, no. Clefairy, stay in. Sir. Uh, Dragon Breath.
Okay, Master Ball. Net Ball. A dust nor. Oh man, if only if I waited to get an encounter from the top floor and then waited until this time. Man, there are a lot of good Pokemon down here. I guess that's also because we're late in the game, so like the Pokemon are better. Let's just put a super repel on. I'm gonna have to buy more of those later. Okay, Nidorino. Man, I the sprites in the later game look so good. Like, I'm so excited for the next Pokemon game I do, Nuzlocke. Uh, Binet. Dragon Breath. Just because I want to preserve my Surfs. 43. Okay. Walk along the sand. So I have to get through this person. And I'm pretty sure I have to fall down that sand hole. Hypno. Oh man, that's from oh that's from my platinum game, Keaton. <sighs> Sir. Uh, let's rain dance and surf. That should kill. Surf again. So, just off tangent that I that just popped in my head. So, um, while school was going on, like the finals week was going on, like I discovered um, the show Milo's Murphy's Law, Milo's Milo Murphy's Law, um, created by Dan Poppenmeyer and Jeff Swampy Marsh, the creators of Phineas and Firm, because I really liked Phineas and Firm, so I was like. Huh, maybe I'll like that show. And I was really skeptical about it at first because like it's in the same like art style as Phoenix and Firm. So I was I think I was like one of those people where it's like, oh maybe it'll just be a new Phoenix and Firm or something. But then when you watch it, I mean when I watched it, it's really cool like how all of the characters interact and like how it's kind of like connected slightly with Phoenix and Firm purposes and like how like there are two boys and then the sister and then their friend who's a girl like that premise still exists in Milo's Murphy's Law but like the stories are kind the stories are pretty interesting and like you have to just you just always have to credit people whenever they are able to produce something and it looks nice and all of the hard work that they put into to make that for multiple people to enjoy and it's honestly amazing uh, but if anyone wants to check out I'm not sponsored or anything but it's just a show that I discovered uh, I like it a lot I'm waiting next year for the crossover or the continuation of the Milo Murphy's Law new episode oh another experience I think I have three now so yeah, if, if anyone wants to check out the show, then go ahead. Pretty cool show. Alright, three Pokemon, a Breed Loom. Uh, Blue Flare. Mock pod, that's fine. Man, I could I oh it missed. 
Man, I could have had a balloon of my own if my shroomish was still alive. Dodo, I'll stay in. Surf. Crocorock, stay in. Surf. Get out of here. And again, this is this is one of the things where it's like it's a very like pretty boring part of the game. Where it's like you have to do all of this stuff. I, have to, I thought it was a double battle. I have to fight two separate grunt trainers in a row. Gosh darn it. Why couldn't you just make this a double battle? But yeah, to me like this part feels like it's very, it's a very like, um, what is it called? Kind of like a fresh quest kind of thing, but in its own right in Pokemon where it's like, you have to go to this place because we have to put some significance in it. And it's like, I don't necessarily understand why, why Team Plasma is even here. If it was like, oh, because we needed more information about how to um, resurrect the legendary Pokemon or something, like, you could have just done it in like one of the areas after it. Like, you didn't have to bring us all the way back to this area just to do this. Like, it's really, it's pretty pointless. Like it's just like you're just fighting a bunch of trainers and then eventually like you learn about Getsis and what he's doing here I think. I'm pretty sure because you meet him up at the end. But like it's really so like unnecessary. I'm pretty sure this thing doesn't get discharged yet, so I think I'm okay surfing yet. And I'm faster, okay. Port 4 Gashadon Switch to Orbo V Blade Okay, go down this handle. Okay, here it is. This is where it, I'm pretty sure this is where it ends. Phew, I finally caught up. You two, come here. Come to my side. It looks like everyone is here. It seems like you are working hard to resurrect Reshiram, the other Dragon-type Pokemon, aren't you? But it appears the Lightstone you seek is not here. Well, the congratulations are in order. Taylor, you were chosen by our king. If you truly desire to keep the world as it is, where Pokemon live alongside people, you must bring the other Dragon type Pokemon spoken of in Legend with battle with our and battle with our king. Otherwise, Team Plasma will steal every Pokemon from every person in the world and release them all. Release them, you say? Do the Pokemon who live with their trainers actually want that? Is the Liberation talk about really just stealing people? Really just stealing Pokemon from people? What's this? Champion Honor, even though. Illness took the Pokemon that had been your partner for many years and you haven't had a serious battle in all that time. Even you who ordered the Elite for the Protective Pokemon League after the, and left to wander the Unova region alone. Even a champion like you now wants to protect the world with Pokemon and people live together? Team Plasma's king will show the people of Unova that he is stronger than the champion who keeps Pokemon bound. And just like the hero who founded Unova, he will be accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He will give this order. Trainers, release your Pokemon. For this, we have prepared a suitable castle for the legendary Zekrom and our king. I won't lose. I'll fight for all trainers who love their Pokemon and for all Pokemon who believe in their trainers. Our king has no interest in you. He has already determined that victory against you is assured. 
So you stayed behind just to tell me that? Just to make a fool of me? Of course not. I'm doing this out of kindness. Yes, kindness. I'm making sure the champion doesn't get hurt for no reason. Granted the moment when someone loses all hope. I really do love to watch that moment. Well then, farewell. Alder, what are you gonna do now? Hmm. It seems my only choice is to return to the Pokemon leader and battle end. But it bothered me to do exactly what Getsis want. More importantly, what should we do about the Lightstone? Alder, why don't we go outside for now? Yes, it's a good idea. It's hard to breathe in here. And then we're... It's hard to put it in words, but I'll never forget him for this. What could that guy end possibly want? Could he be trying to prove he is right by winning the battle of the two dragons? Gosh, and Severus reading... Bianca... Oh no, Juniper. Taylor! Hello, Taylor. Oh, you picked up. Hey, Taylor. Come to the museum in Arkansas. Okay. Come to the museum in Arkansas City immediately. Right away. Got it? I mean, right now. I can hear Professor Juniper's voice so clear over here. Seems like something big is happening. I wonder what is waiting at the museum in Arkansas City. I'll go on ahead. I'll look around here once more. I don't want to believe what this dad gets, it says. You should head for the Night Queen City Museum. Okay, so now, not nine. Not bad either. So now we have to go to the, um, we have to go to the Night Queen City Museum. And then there, we'll be told something really important. I, I hate, one thing I really hate is the map, which is so finicky if you use the D-pad. Okay. So let's heal up. I forgot when I started. And I don't want to pull up OBS because then you guys will see the thing. And it'll be really weird. I should have remembered when I started. I guess I'll stop in 15 minutes. See how long that is. Okay. Hello, I'm here. Alder told me what's going on. Taylor, you got you got caught up in something serious, it seems. Is this it? Well, isn't that the stone found in the desert resort? Yes, that's right, but is this really a dragon type Pokemon? Surely, when I investigated Dragon's Bar Tower, I found elements that were dated to the same era as this lightstone. I looked into that. Impressive as always. But you know, we're, we're lucky because what if Team Plasma like noticed that old stone that time? That's a good point. It's clear to me that they were trying to steal the Dragon Skull so they could revive the legendary Dragon type Pokemon. Oh, that's why they stole the skull. If you would, Taylor, take this. Wait a moment, Taylor. If you take this light stone, that means you'll be the one to battle and if anything happens to me, are you really okay with that? Yes, I am. I understand. You are determined to take on this duty. Then here it is. Prepare yourself. Be strong. I see. If things don't go as planned, you'll use this light stone. You'll protect the true future for us and Pokemon. Taylor, we're counting on you. Please take care of yourself. So how do we wait to dry entire Pokemon from the stone then? That's it. We got them, don't we? Aha, we got those too. Taylor, go to Opelucid City. The gym leader of that city is a dragon type Pokemon. The gym leader could know something. I'll go ahead and wait for you there. Until then. Away! That's right. Opelucid City's Drayden might know something. Hey Taylor, never forget that you always have Pokemon right by your side. I'm going to head back to the lab and do some research. I'll see if I can uncover what kinds of beings these dra legendary dragon type Pokemon are and if there is in any way to awaken them. Don't worry if if we ask something for you we'll come running to find you. Ooh, sounds real serious. Um that's about all I got out of it. Hey, do you know Opelousa City? When you leave from my serious city and like cross the two line bridge, it's on the other side, hmm? I'm not that great with direction, so if you need more, check your town map, okay? 
Okay, so now we go to back to Isiris and then we head toward Opalicid City. Also, it's because of the anime why I kind of know how to pronounce this. Oh yeah, it's winter! Okay, so we're on Route 8, so this is a new encounter. I'm fairly certain because I didn't want to get an encounter in Route 8. Oops. Shift. I mean tab. Hippopotas. Actually, what I wanted to do was I wanted to um, very quickly Drayden Pokemon Black. I hope that you still see the battle going on. I just want to check his levels. His levels is 43. So I can't take on the gym. I can't take on the gym because my flashy and orbo I think are 43 or maybe just flashing yeah I just so I could take on the gym I just need to do some training or if I make it there in 15 minutes which I probably won't ah sludge okay dragon breath And then your last one is Ivysaur. I'll switch to Orbo. Oh, so I don't even need to train the minion anymore. The highest is 43. That's really weird. Like, Bryson's highest is 42 and Drayden's is 43. That's so weird. Okay. Uh, Flash Cannon. Okay, so no. Nope. So I don't need to train Luminion anymore. Luminion is too high of a level. I will now get the lucky egg to Orbo. There we go. And then let me check. I'm pretty sure Absol was caught in Icera City. Yeah, Icera City. So I can still catch something on Route 8. Master Ball? Hey, Propulsion. Not bad. Man, I don't think Future Sight. Yes, I finally got a good TM. Because, like, I'm pretty sure all the other TMs are garbage. Yeah, like look at all these garbage, except for like a few of them. Okay, so future site was up here. Okay. How many Pokemon can learn future site? Everyone can learn future site. Ooh, that's so cool. But it gives me options in case I want to give someone. In case I want to give someone future site. Because future site isn't really that the best of moves in my opinion but it is very powerful it takes two turns oh i want to battle her how do i battle her oh i have to go from this way okay actually i can battle all these people off screen i don't know what i'm thinking i can just battle all these people off screen to level up needle reno does Nino Reno get Horn Drill at this level? I don't think so. I think I'm okay. Oh, even if it has Horn Drill, I'm a higher level, so it can't affect me. Attack. Okay. 
All right, so now, uh, no, I don't want slam. Nope. No. Swap blue. I'm gonna switch a helicopter because orb was 43, so now we need to train up helicopter. Uh, acrobatics. Nice. It's weird because I have acrobatics, but I also, which does a lot of damage if I don't hold the item, but I need to train jump off. Um, I'm just gonna give the lucky egg because I needed to gain levels fast. Alright, so I'm gonna skip all the trainers. Oh, yeah, the, I have to repel the. I'm gonna skip all the, as many trainers as I can. And then uh, I'll just battle them off screen to progress with the game. But I had to battle her because I had to go this way. Actually, I don't know what that forced her to go to. Maybe the um, Iceris more or whatever it's called. The more of Iceris. But here's an Absol. Pressures me. Uh, let's just go for Mega Drains. Oh boy. Uh, flash cannon. I need like seed bomb or like giga drain. Something. Oh gosh, it's plus four. Please KO it. Please KO it. Please KO it. Please. Oh gosh, bite! Ah, uh, yeah. It's not gonna level close for a bite. Ah, oh, man, it sucks. Do you have quick attack? You do have quick attack. Yeah, there's there's no way to level plus for a bite. Uh, quick attack. Okay, thank goodness it didn't use quick attack. You know, it's faster. Ah, oh, man. That sucks. Now I'm back to three Pokemon. Here, I won't put the Lucky Egg, but I can't use Scythe, it's on par with the Trainer Pokemon. Okay, is this the more? This is like the more Viserys, right? Yeah, more Viserys. I believe there were some items here. And there are some trainers over here. Oh, I see. Let's surf along here. To get this item. Power lands. I just think it's set up for money. I'm gonna go down. Kidding me. Here, I did it off screen. I just know I can catch a Pokemon here. I'm just checking if I have to surf on the water to do it. Oh, there's an item there. Oh, I have to go that way. Okay. So I, I guess I have to surf to get a Pokemon then. Okay. Our more of Iceris encounter is. A gold duck. I can't remember if I have a side duck or not. But this is gonna be another water type, but we don't need water types, we need diversity. Uh let's use uh let's use a quick ball. I can't hit anything because it's level 16. Oh, 
All right, I caught a gold duck. The duck Pokemon. All right, I always I like gold duck. Ever since I was into the trading card game, I liked gold duck a lot. Uh. So we're gonna name Golduck Prince Ducky because the jewel in the middle of its head always made me think of it as royalty. Ducky. Okay, I can't do Ducky. So we'll go with Prince Duck. Because the jewel in the middle of the forest makes me think it's royalty and it's a duck. Okay, we are Prince Duck. And then let's check on Prince Duck. Prince Duck is docile with Cloud9. Alright. Docile means it has no stat um, altering things. Alright. On his item Master Ball? Electric Jam? Eh. It's another jam, I guess. Okay, down. So, oh gosh, there's so many trainers. Jeebus. Oh, and then this is where I have to fight Bianca, right? Yep. Taylor! As I've been traveling lately, I've been thinking about things. Things like I can do. Things like what I can do with my life and what I want to do, but I'm thinking how cool it would be to be a model like Elisa. And then how cool it would be to do research on Pokemon like Professor Juniper. That's what I want to do. I'm going to have to know a lot about Pokemon. So would you please battle me? I I don't understand why in these games the, the rivals have dialogue where they ask you if you want to battle. And you don't have the option to say no. Like what if I didn't want to battle right here? Maybe a... Uh... Okay. So the similar strain thing is working. That is a right period. Scary face. Okay, she used her full restore here. Use another full restore on this right period, and Bianca has a Lola Mola still, right? That's her starter. I think Bianca's is the Lola Mola, and then um, Sharon's is the Swoobat. Okay, so that repair is gone. All right. Next, gold bats. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go into flashing. I don't want to risk it dying. I don't want to risk Oracle dying to a wing attack or a brave bird or an air cutter or an air slash. So let's just go for surf. Okay, me look, I can't escape now. That would kill it. Yes, nice, nice. Jolteon. We have to go into Orbo now. The thing is though, do we hit it with Leaf Blades? Because my special attack is stronger. But Discharge will get absorbed. And then Flash Cannon is resisted. I guess I'm gonna go for Lava Plumes. Look at that. Alrighty. Okay, I had to burn. So it's gonna keep taking residual damage. So Leap Blade plus the burn should kill right now. Yes! Okay. That's 3 or 4? Yeah, and she has a little mola. Yep. 
Here it is. Uh, leaf blade. Yeah. I'm going to. There we go. Feed Bianca. Yep, Taylor, you're amazing. I'm really, really, really impressed that that makes me want to give you this. Give this to you. Yeah, I got a full restore. In Casilla City, my precious Pokemon was stolen by Team Plasma, so I really, really understand. If Team Plasma forces everyone to liberate their Pokemon, there would be nothing but sad people. Taylor, stop Team Plasma! Don't allow Pokemon to be stolen from trainers who love them. I think that's the truth or ideal that you've been pursuing, Taylor? Oh dear, here. Oh dear, here I've come all this way and I'm afraid I'm bothering you when you're going through so much. All I wanted was to help you relax, Taylor. Knowing you, you'll be fine, definitely. You'll totally be fine, I guarantee it. Anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah, so bye bye. Alright, and I believe this is a two line bridge and it's super short. Oh no, this is a two line bridge, that's right. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna save the two, the, the end. Um, going through two lane bridge and heading to his Oak Lucid City afterwards. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'll get my routed encounter here unless um, Here I want to if the whole thing is route 8 then I'll wait till next episode To get my route 8 encounter. Otherwise, I want to get my route 8 encounter in this episode two lane bridge Route 9. Yeah, so this is Route 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Route Encounter and then we'll end the episode. We'll end the episode off here. And then I will... Then I will try and make a team. Try and level some Pokemon up. And then the next episode, we are going to go to the Tube Line Bridge. Head over to Route 9. And possibly go for the gym after we make it through Route 9. If not, then... If not, then I have to do off grid, off screen training from then. But I route eight encounter is a Gorbis, which is another water type, which I don't need because I have flashing. So, um, I guess I'm gonna use another great ball. <sighs> Excuse me. Really? Confusion. How much is it gonna do? And I got confused. Are you kidding me? Great ball. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll use an Ultra Ball. One, two, three. Okay. I got a Gorbis, which is, I don't really want. It's just another water type. The stats are pretty poor. I'm pretty sure I can't get Shell Smash on it anyways. Um, I'm gonna nickname it Gorgeous because I honestly thought that's what its name was before I knew that it was Gorbis. I thought it was just Gorgeous, but people were saying it incorrectly. Gorgeous. Alright. Gorgeous is trying to. Alright, that's gonna be it. And in the next episode, like I said, we're going to go through Two Line Bridge. Route 9 and possibly beating the gym leader, we'll see. But with that being said, 
Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, goodbye.